co-opt, coerce, corrupt. Those three C's describe the Chinese Communist Party's strategy for remaking global institutions in its authoritarian image. A few quick examples. Co-opt. The CCP's preferred candidate was elected to lead the World Health Organization. Among his first official trips, the Belt and Road Forum in Beijing to pick up a $20 million check for the WHO. When COVID exploded in Wuhan, China had friends at the WHO to stymie investigations into Chinese coronavirus labs and to excuse the CCP's shameful cover-up. Two, coerce. Australia called for an international investigation into COVID origins and China slapped 80% tariffs on Australian barley. Beijing weaponized the UN's International Telecommunication Union, which it led from 2015 to 2022, in order to back Huawei in its campaign of malign expansion. Three, corrupt. The CCP's candidate waltzed into heading the UN Food and Agriculture Organization when the opposing candidate withdrew, coincidentally, after their country received a $78 million in debt forgiveness. The CCP has used UNESCO to erase heritage sites in Xinjiang and Tibet. Uyghur leaders often cannot get through the front door of UN events. Unless we get serious and fight CCP influence in these institutions, most of whom were created by the U.S. and our allies because they served our interests, don't be surprised if they increasingly become more pro-CCP. That's the whole point of the CCP's three C's.